Hey guys, what's going on? Crypto Cine here. Today we are going to talk about Request Network and the price prediction for 2018. So we are going over uh, the prices of $1, $5 and $10 and how high the odds of the price getting there are. So if you don't know what Request Network is, it basically allows you to pay someone with whatever currency you want. So for example, if someone uh, wants 200 Ethereum from me because I bought something, I can send him a uh, Bitcoin, for example, and the network automatically converts the Bitcoin to Ethereum. And you can not only do this with cryptocurrency, but also with fiat money. So, for example, if I bought a PC from someone and he requests a payment saying he wants uh, that and that amount of Bitcoin, for example, I can send him US dollar and it automatically gets converted. So this has a real good concept. The team behind is also very, very nice and working. You should definitely check the project out. Go on Reddit, go on the website. But now let's go over the price. So Request Network has started on the 21st of October, at least then uh, CoinMarketCap listed it. And from then on, it was really like the same because you know when a company when a company is starting they cannot deliver project projects immediately they need time to work on them and now if we take a look at the last month that is where people uh, and people notice that this project has a real concept and is actually delivering um, really good things they are like three months ahead of their schedule right now so it's a really great thing so the all-time high by now was around 0 0.36 dollars so a third of the first goal we want to achieve so in order to get one dollar we would need the circulating supply as of right now but so the circulating supply obviously changes over this year but um, we're just assuming that it stays the same to make the calculations a bit easier. But they can obviously vary in the next few months. So right now, if we want Rico's network to be at $1, we would need $640,739,733 worth of market cap. So uh, five times, almost five times the market cap we have right now. So if you take a look at the roadmap, um, just a few days ago, the Request Colossus came out. And this is also where this huge spike came up. So they have the, the roadmap uh, ordered in specific tasks, which all which has have names. So these are milestones for the project. At first, they had the Request Pyramid. Then the Colossus, next is the Great Wall, Stonehenge, Colosseum and Petra. So what Colossus was about, it was the token launch after the ICO and the website and the first version of Request working with Ethereum on the testnet. So this is a really great thing because now you can actually um, request payments and send someone um, Ethereum. So this is only on the main, uh, on the testnet but it's already a big release. If we take a look at the next thing, so what Request Network basically is trying to do is to replace PayPal with uh, the Request button. So we pay with Request instead of pay with PayPal, for example. So on the first quartal of 2018, they're working on partnerships and they want to do the uh, they wants to implement the first iteration of request working with Ethereum on the mainnet. And a price of one dollar after this comes out is inevitable. And they are also launching the pay with request um, project. Obviously, we will, we will not know how long this will take to really come out. Probably a few years, but it's the first step. Then we have Stonehenge, where they are adding management for the fiat currencies. 
and they're launching a request and transparency project. We don't know what this is right now. And they're organizing discussions around payment requests with institutions such as World Bank, IMF, ECB, and the UN. So these are just like organizational things and building up partnerships, getting uh, popular to the, to the world. Then we have the request Coliseum. This is more like uh, a technical part, I'd say, so the deployed late fees extension to specify penalties if a business is not paid on time, down payment extension, tax extension, escrow extensions, so a few extensions to uh, make the technical part of, part of it work better. And then we have the request Petra, which is a governance system, the Internet of Things framework project, sounds really, really interesting. And the continuous payment extension, where you can do an infinity of micropayments. So, as I said, we will need $640 million market cap for $1. And this will place us at around the 30, 30 to 35th place. And at the start of 2018, in the first quartal, we will definitely see $1. So if you want $5, we would have to multiply this by um, 5, obviously, because we want $5, which would be a market cap of 3 billion. So 3 billion, 203 million. 3 billion is obviously a bit more, but wouldn't even place us under the top 10. And if we take a look at it right now, how many coins, how many uh, cryptocurrencies in the top 10 really have a real use case and a real concept that can be used in the real world to solve problems we have right now? Well, IOTA can, Ripple can, probably Ethereum, and that's basically it. So free coins with a good concept that can work in real life are right now in the top 10. You can obviously correct me if you have another opinion, but it's just my opinion right now. So we will need 3.2 billion. And we have to keep in mind that in 2018, the cryptocurrency market will possibly grow even more because this was 2017 was only the first year of cryptocurrencies, the first booming year. And so 3 billion with a good concept that can solve problems in the real world, I think it will definitely happen in 2018. So if you want uh, $10, we will take this number and just add a zero behind it. We will be, so this, let's do this and this, that's wrong, this, this. we will need 6.4 billion which will place us right now at the ninth place. So if request network delivers everything on the road, on the roadmap and they are getting popular and it works just as they describe it in the white paper. I can definitely see request going to ten to $10. Because if you're not familiar with request network right now, the circulating supply isn't getting higher, but it's getting lower. And that increases the price. That's because with every transaction, they burn 0 0.5 request tokens on every transaction. So the circulating supply is getting smaller and smaller, and that means the price is going up and up. And that's where I can definitely see request going to $10 or above because with a smaller circulating supply we don't need a market cap of 6.4 billion but for example 5 billion and 5 billion if we look at that we would be number 10 and request really has something going on it's really a good project that can really work and change how we pay so, I really encourage you to take a look at this. 
uh, network and this technology is really really interesting and the project uh, the team behind it is also very very active they are not hyping the project up too much they are more like in the background and they're delivering really really fast and uh really working on this because they want to get this working so i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed also if you have any comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below and thanks for watching